Shiva is called Mashana Vashi. Prakriti is called Asha. Why is that? Why is that? Smashana is So after human beings die, body is burnt, right? Nothing remains, but only thing remains is Atma, the Shiva. Body is burnt, okay? So after burning the body, what remains is the Atma alone. So that is Shiva. So to tell that Shiva is not the body, not the mind, not the intellect. The pure consciousness which is there even when there is no body, no mind, no intellect. Smashanavad. Shiva, where Shiva uses Basma, Basma Bushitanga. Shiva and Sharira kill Basma. Basma Bushitanga. Why is Shiva puts Basma through a hole the body? Hmm? Basma Bushitanga Shiva. Why? Alice? Absolute. So, the Basma, Basma is, actually there is a story behind Shiva's Basma. Manmata wanted to seduce Shiva. Rati and Manmata danced. Then Shiva opens his third eye and Manmata is burnt. So then Shiva uses that ash of Manmata and applies to the body. The ash represents the burning of Kama, burning of the Kama, Kama Vasana. Shiva's third eye represents Opening of the wisdom, Jnana. With Jnana, Kama is burnt. So, once Jnana is come, with Jnana, Kama is burnt, that is applied to the body. Okay? So, that's one way of understanding. Why should he apply to body? body also is burnt. So basically, Shiva is always represented by Basma. Okay? Basma three lines here. So three lines is physical body, gross body, subtle body, causal body. So beyond that is burning of that body represents Shiva. Basma, burning of that is Basma, Shiva, one. So, second thing is body, mind, and intellect, three are burnt, not I am not, then what remains Shiva. So, Kama is burnt and Kama, burnt Kama or is applied as Basma. So, this Basma represents, uh, there is no complete desire is gone. Right? And whole body is sense organ. The body is the largest sense organ. These are eyes, ears, or organs. Out of it, body is the largest sense organ. Skin. Actually, where does karma enter to us? The desire enters through eyes, touch. The whole of body, Shiva has no karma is left. The largest sense organs also, the karma is not there. So he is freed from karma totally, the desire. Show us a Damuru. What is Damuru? Is Damuru of Shiva? Why 
ಅದೇ ಶಿವ ಧನರು ಶಬ್ದ ಶಿವ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ದ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಶಿವ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಕಾಸ್ಮಿಕ್ ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡೋ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಡ್ಯಾನ್ಸಸ್ ದಿ ಸೌಂಡ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಶಬ್ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಎಮಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ನಾದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ಶಬ್ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ದೇ ಸೊ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಮಿನೇಟ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಶಬ್ದ ಶಬ್ದ ದಿ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಶಬ್ದ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಈಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಡಮರು ದೆನ್ ವೈ ಶಿವ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಎ ಮ್ಯಾಟೆಡ್ ಲಾ ಜಟ ಯಾಕಿದೆ ದಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಶಿವ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಯೋಗಿಕ್ ವಿಷನ್ ಯೋಗಿಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ದಿ ಮ್ಯಾಟೆಡ್ ಲಾಕ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಿ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ಚಕ್ರ ದಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅವರ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಈಸ್ ಅಬೌ ಟೆನ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇಂಚಸ್ ಅಬೌ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರ ಅಬೌ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮರಂಧ್ರ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ ಇಂಚಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಸೊ ಸಹಸ್ರಾರ ಚಕ್ರ ಈಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ಶಿವಾಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟೆಡ್ ಲಾಕ್ then there is a moon here why moon is there mind mind is worn as an ornament actually the mind is is called soma shekara soma is moon so that represents actually there is a one chakra here it's called soma chakra in the body okay soma chakra creates a hormone a sort of hormone which is a pleasant sensation in deeper meditation is called soma rasa so that chakra is represented by the moon and moon becomes the ornament for its nani what about uh, the serpent in the neck of shiva transaction ego ego becomes the ornament blue neck of shiva nilakanta why hmm nilakanta why he is called nilakanta throat is blue nilakanta there are two meanings one is pauranik okay which is called adi bhav adi daivik and adhyatmik in adi bhav the adhyas adi daivik meaning devatas and asuras do samudra mantra the hala hala comes the poison comes shiva drinks the poison and parvati holds the neck so that poison doesn't go the blue neck remains this the adi daivik no no it's parvati so adhyatmik level what happens is our bindu chakra bindu chakra creates two types of secretion one is called amrita a nectar which heals the body and there are chemicals or rather uh, what are called uh, poisonous substances so at vishuddha chakra at the throat center yogi kalan hold the poison hold the hold that poison stop the poison with the this bandha what is called jalandhara bandha so actually mula bandha jalandhara bandha udyana bandha mula bandha is for rising the kundalini the kundalini hits the sahasrara chakra or bindu chakra so secretion is created it's a hormone the two types of hormones are there one is uh, which is heals the body and other type of hormone is uh, for poisonous so that is block at the throat center so shiva the blue neck of shiva represents the blocking of that poison so the hormone which is created can be going into the body to rejuvenate the body or that hormone can be used for higher consciousness internally by blocking at this center what else is uh, the symbolism of shiva he is gaja charma ambradara gaja charma ambradara he is his dress is gaja 
skin of the elephant. Why is that so? Huh? Gaja represents the ego. Okay. Gaja, Gaja is an elephant. Ego is uh, elephant is represent for ego. So he has destroyed that ego and using it as a or uh, dress. Gaja, right? One speciality of Shiva, one uh, which Shiva is completely mixture of uh, opposites. Surely, all those opposites are. You know, he dances like mad. Da ga da ga da ga da ga da ga da ga. He dances, and when he sits, total silence, stillness. Action, complete inaction. Both opposites are there in Shiva. The total action and total stillness. he is a dancer cosmic dancer the total action and total stillness these are two opposites okay so the total stillness is absolute reality the total total action the complete action is the cosmic manifestation is saguna brahma okay and the shiva's dance is total there is no ego there is egoless dance when the dance is happening there is no dancer there there is only dance the dance is called shakti when shiva dances there is no sense of ego only the dance is there the dance is the shakti and the dance movement creates the various uh, uh, what do you call as uh, the elements of nature the fire the wind the water then the shiva nataraja prabhavadi you can see the various elements fire element water element all those elements so that's called that's the dance of creation so he is complete huh? why will you have ego why will you have ego oh i am dancing nicely i am great right when he dances he dances fully and when he sits silently he sits silently totally action complete action without doership complete silence Where there is no the world at all. These are the two opposites of Shiva. <coughs> the other two opposites is he is completely vairagi, detached. But he is a family man also. He has family, and he has Gana. He is completely detached one side. and completely he is a family man he was a householder okay in on the side the all the opposites meet in shiva the dance and stillness the family and vairagya so basically in a in a uh, that represents the totality totality opposites can exist simultaneously our human mind says okay if he is vairagi he has to leave the family and go if he is family man he cannot be vairagi in shiva's case both appear simultaneously so the, of all the contradictions are there in shiva yeah you can that's what you do <laughs> so then we have other thing shiva is coming for the marriage and when he comes for the marriage he is dressed horribly it's like a, and all is ghosts no that uh, bhutagana they are dancing and this guy looks like a horrible uh, uh, when they, it's very terrible uh, form of shiva okay and looking at the terrible form of shiva parvati is mother faints so <laughs> she <laughs> this is the part of my daughter is marrying she becomes unconscious then parvati goes to goes to shiva this doesn't work my mother uh, is uh, terrified of you okay please show your uh, beautiful form immediately shiva becomes sundaresha the most beautiful form 
most ugly form and most beautiful form both are <laughs> the opposites the most ugly form and most beautiful form right then shiva is a what you call as always shown as intoxicated nasha now people ba drink bhang most of the people saying uh, shiva drinks bhang that nasha is not uh, bhang it's actually nasha is full of bliss ananda so the, with the ananda he walks in bliss and people think it's nasha <coughs> when you are full of ananda <coughs> you don't care about the world okay it appears as though he is full of uh, intoxicated intoxication what other aspect of shiva trishula so trishula there are three pains in our life what we call as adi bhautika adi daivika adhyatmika so trishula kills these three in another way what kills is this is nana another way of looking at trishula is this is the spinal cord okay so from base of the spine energy moves upwards to adna and sahasrara so that adna and sahasrara this is the place of kailasa this place is called kailasa at this place kailasa means kaivalya lasa this alone he alone dance he alone is there enjoys lasa is enjoys shiva and shakti become one in sahasrara these are all yogic actually shiva do not make do not think that shiva the symbolism is a yogic symbolism it's actually for us to imbibe the meditation practices for us in our meditation there are guidelines various symbols of shiva whereas chandra or jata or uh, what you call as uh, third eye all these things are yogic symbols third eye is i of wisdom and kailasa shiva is there on the top of kailasa at this point at the brahmarandra the shiva and shakti and jagat all become one that's the place abode of shiva in our human body the human body is the kailasa parvata he is ganga jatadara he holds ganga in his jata that ganga is one is river ganga because river ganga in the himalayan range flows from gauri shankara mountain gauri shankara and gangotri gangotri is the place where him river ganga flows the himalaya represents the virat roop of shiva the gross form of shiva okay that's one way second way is ganga is actually gnana ganga the wisdom which flows from the shiva's head any other symbols of shiva rudraksha is supposed to be when uh, uh, rudra shiva in the rudra form shiva is actually another another uh, opposites shiva is very calm and pleasant and she is also very ferocious rudra the two opposites so that rudra rudraksha is uh, the ts of shiva is considered as uh, rudra so basically rudraksha is a bead which create which holds the vibration of shiva the om namo shivaya janti okay so that vibration is held uh, vibration is uh, just like tulsi mala holds the uh, uh, vibration of shri krishna or uh, vishnu rudrakshi holds the vibration of shiva it's very close to shiva the kamandal is actually a yogic uh, symbol okay kamandal represents the, the what they use for drinking water i don't know exactly what kamandal means actually the, the meaning of the water in water is actually a life uh, life water and water is life water represents life because life is born in water i think somewhere it the kamandal represents the water uh, life okay. 
Nandi Vahana. So he is riding a bull. Okay. Bull is actually majestic. The bull, the bull walks very majestically. So the bull represents Dharma. And Nandi is also the servant of Nandi is a Bhatta, servant of uh, Shiva. Okay. So Shiva Atma rides on Dharma. So basically our life is full of Dharma. Then Shiva consciousness wakes up in us. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. When Dharma is there in our life, the Moksha or Atma Dhana, Shiva Dhana will open up in our life. That's the Dharma. Shiva writes the Dharma. Bull, Nandi. So Nandi also represents, Nandi means bliss, Ananda. Okay. So Nandi waits for Shiva very patiently. If you see, Kashi Vishwanatha temple, which was destroyed about uh, 500 years back. The temple was destroyed and masjid was built. But Nandi, they didn't destroy. So Nandi is looking at the Garbhagraha of the temple, uh, masjid. Okay. Nandi is patiently waiting, 500 years. So now the judgment is coming after 500 years because Nandi, Nandi any Shiva temple will be facing uh, the Garbhagraha. So uh, now this is in the court. Nandi will become primary witness for the Shiva temple, Shiva temple be, Shiva being there. So Nandi represents uh, all of us have to wait very patiently for grace of Shiva, the patience, right? Shiva, Nandi, Nandi waits in front of Shiva very patiently. And in temple when you go, we will hold our hand like this and look at Shiva. The idea is, you have to look at Shiva with the eyes of Nandi. Patience, patiently, you have to do your sadhana and patiently wait for the grace of Bhagwan Shiva. So let us chant Om Namah Shivaya. Om Namah Shivaya. Oh.